Hello everyone. My name is Trinal Fernando and my group partner is Tarak Bulugahamul. So DDO's detection and mitigation in software defined networks using machine learning is the project that we have done for our final year project. First of all, if I briefly explain about uh, what is software defined networks, you can see in the slides that SDN separates network forwarding functions from the network control functions with the goal of creating a network that is centrally manageable and programmable. In simple terms, if we consider a network node for an example, let's say a network switch, it has a control plane and a data plane. So SDN is all about the physical separation of the network control plane from the forwarding plane and where the control plane controls several devices. So in our project, we have used Minet virtual machine as our data plane and we have used Ryu controller, which is an open source control as our SDN controller. So these two uh, Linux virtual machines are deployed in the virtual box software. So this is our network diagram. And at center, you can see our Ryu controller in which we have deployed that in a separate virtual machine and all the other network nodes are deployed in the other virtual machine. So as you all know, DDoS attack is all about overwhelming the victim with a lot of traffic coming from a lot of random source IPs in which as a result, the victim will find it hard to process even the legitimate traffic. So here we are going to detect uh, that attack in SDN environment. So the type of attacks that we are detecting is the SYN, TCP and UDP attacks, whereas those attacks will be detected using machine learning. After the detection process, we are mitigating the attack by finding the attacker switch port using the ARP table, which contains a list of switch ports along with the host IPs connected to the switch. So these are the aims and objectives of the project. The first objective is to implement the LAN network using Mininet and Ryu controller and implementing those two nodes in two separate virtual machines. And the second objective is to generate our very own data set. So for that, we have planned to deploy a simple HTTP web server uh, inside a host in our network and make all the other hosts in the network to connect to that web server. Uh, and as initially the every traffic in the SDN environment are passing through the controller, there we plan to collect those traffic information uh, in order to prepare our data set. Uh, then the third objective is to detect the attack using machine learning technique. So for that, we did some researches and then we applied uh, uh, KNN, uh, linear regression, naive bias, support vector machine, decision tree and random forest algorithms to our data set. Uh, and there we choose KNN as the best fitting algorithm for our model. Then our final objective was to adding an attack mitigation model to the SDN network environment. So this is the state diagram of our project. Uh, so at start, you can see we are initializing normal and attack traffic in the Mininet environment. And then we are performing the feature extraction process using the flow entries of the switches. And then we create our data set by collecting both normal and malicious traffic from the network. Uh, and then we apply machine learning algorithms to our data set. And thereafter, we prepare our uh, attack detection module and deploy it in our view controller. Uh, then we test the detection module to check whether our chosen predicting algorithm predict the results correctly or not. Uh, and thereafter, uh, successful results, we have uh, added the mitigation module by restricting the access of uh, the attacker. Now we are moving on to the demonstration. So these are the two virtual machines running in the virtual box in which the main net PM and the review control is deployed. And now we are going to SSH onto those two machines using more backstrom SSH clients so that we can easily deal with the two machines from just one window. So here you can see that I'm logging into two virtual machines from more backstrom SSH client. So now we are going to generate normal traffic from Minnet virtual machine and collect those generated traffic via the controller in order to prepare our data set. So as you can see in the right side window, 
we have written a Python application to collect the generated traffic from the mainnet virtual machine, uh, which is deployed in the left hand side. And so now that application is running the real controller and the generate normal traffic script is running in the left window. So what happened here is uh, we have a simple HTTP server in host one and all the other hosts are downloading the default web page from the web server. Meanwhile, all the other hosts are randomly digging on to each other and all this traffic are collected at the real control and that's how we generated the normal traffic. So here you can see that iteration number is two. So likewise, we have uh, done up to 600 iteration. And we almost took about three days to uh, finish the data generation process. Now, similarly, we are generating the attack traffic in the minute PM in the left side terminal using the attack traffic Python script, whereas those traffic will be calculated by the real country using the Python application running on the right side terminal. To generate the attack traffic, we have used HPIN 3.2. Now here I am running the machine learning based detection module inside a preview controller. And in the mainnet VM, I am integrating SORT network monitoring tool to monitor the CPU utilization. So now I'm running my SDN network in the minute virtual machine. And here I am opening the terminals of the host H1, H2, H3, and H4. So the respective terminals will appear within a second. Here you can see uh, the terminals appear. So here I'm running a simple Python web server in host one on port 80. So you can see that it's running on port 80. And now I'm picking on to the web server legitimately from host two. And now you can see our detection module produce the legitimate traffic collect correctly. So here you can see that our uh, detection module uh, predict the legitimate traffic correctly. And now I'm going to execute an ICMP flood attack from host three to our web server. And here you can see that our detection module identified the attack correctly and also the host name as well. And also our monitoring tool states that the CPU system is heavily utilized. Here in the monitoring tool, you can see that there are a lot of random source IPs generated during the attack. So you can see that a lot of random source IPs are generated during the attack and also detection module predicts the attack correctly. Now here I stop the attack and since the host two keep on picking on to the web server, you can see that our algorithm predict uh, it as legitimate. So now I'm going to demonstrate the attack behavior using Wireshark and I'm going to monitor the web service interface. See, I'm going to monitor the web service interface and uh, here you can see the legitimate uh, ICMP package flow and now I'm going to monitor the traffic from IO graph by setting up the ICMP filter. So here I'm setting up the ICMP filter. And you can see that the filter is applied here. And also there's a constant flow of ICMP packet since uh, our host to keep on picking onto the web server. And also you can see that source IPs are uh, legitimate in which I, we have a configured statically and also ICMP packets flow in a constant at a constant rate. So here I am executing an ICMP flood attack, and now you can see that there's a sudden rise in the IO graph, confirming the fact that there's an attack in progress. And also here from the source IPs, you can see that a lot of IPs are changing rapidly, and also at the same time here you can see that our 
algorithm has identified the attack correctly. And also you can see IPs are gradually uh, changing and our detection module predicts the attack correctly. Here you can see in the graph that there's, there are fluctuations during the attack. So now I'm going to initiate a TCP C flood attack uh, from POS3 and see whether our algorithm correctly predicts the DDoS attack or not. So in the initial state in the Wireshark, you can see uh, there is no change in the traffic curve as we are not uh, doing anything. Now we are going to initiate the attack. Uh, now you can see in the background terminal uh, of Wireshark, there are many random sources are generating, confirm, confirming that there is an attack in progress. And also in the IO graph, you can see that there is a sudden rise in the TCP traffic. And also in the background terminal, uh, you can see our algorithm correctly predicts that there is an attack in progress. So as the attack is in progress, our algorithm keep predicting that there's a DDoS attack. And also the fluctuations are keep continued as the attack is in progress. Now we are going to stop the attack. So after stopping the attack, you can see the traffic curve has come to the initial constant rate. And also meanwhile, after stopping the attack, uh, host to keep pinging onto the web server. So that traffic is legitimate and our algorithm correctly predicts that legitimate traffic from the controller. Uh, now we are going to initiate our other types of attack, which is a uh, UDP. Dash two in HPing three command represent that the attack type is UDP. Now we are going to initiate the attack. So now you can see in the background terminal of our review controller, uh, our algorithm will correctly predict that there's an attack in progress. And also in the IO graph, you can see there's a sudden rise in the UDP traffic. So our algorithm keep predicting that there's an attack in progress. And also the fluctuations are keep continuing. Now we are moving on to the mitigation part. Uh, here, what we have done is uh, whenever there is an attack in progress, our detection module will correctly predict that there is an attack in progress. And then thereafter, our mitigation module will automatically execute inside our controller. Uh, there, what it does is uh, it will detect the switch port of the attacker and that switch port will be blocked. So here we are going to initiate the attack. And now you can see in the background terminal of our Rio controller, uh, our mitigation module will correctly detect the seat port of the attacker and that port will be blocked. Also in the IO graph, you can see that there's a sudden rise in the uh, traffic curve and that during that time period, our mitigation module will detect the switch port of the attacker and that port will be blocked. So here you can see that curve. So after blocking the port, you can see again the traffic curve have, have come to the initial state, uh, citing the fact that we have mitigated the attack successfully. Here you can see meanwhile the attacker still trying to flood the packet to the controller but as the attacker's port has been blocked this effort has become in vain. 
so with that we are concluding our demonstration so here are the objectives and results that we have achieved so we could first create a data set and determine a suitable machine learning algorithm for detecting ddos attack then we have implemented and analyzed a machine learning algorithms for detecting ddos attack by using a suitable data set and also we have simulated a ddos attack in software defined in network environment using virtual machines and also we have implemented and analyzed a mitigation and prevention module for ddos attack in software defined network so with that we are concluding our presentation and demonstration thank you all